Hello all, TechGeek311 here. I'm going to give you an app review and tutorial over to do. Alright, today's app review and tutorial is going to cover the to do app. This app, as you can see, is called to do, task done in style. As you can see from the screenshots here, it gives you folders where you're able to add all your separate tasks and to-dos in there. You can preview everything. You have here nearby tasks, so it includes your locations. You have everything in the right place, so all the information that you need. You also can add an attached voice to it as well. As you can see, it's got the description right here. This explains everything that this app can do. You scroll down here near the bottom, you can see that it's been updated not too long. The last update was in February of this year. You can go to the developer's information, see all the other apps that they have. You can also go into the version history and see all the updates this app has had. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the app. We're going to go into To Do. As you can see, I already have it set up for my to-dos. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. You can look under routines. You can see all the separate routines that I have set up for it. You can look under my separate uh, ones I have due for tomorrow, next seven days. Other stuff that I have in here. Health. And you can look at all the done. Go down here into nearby. And of course there's nothing nearby at this time. We'll go back out of that. You can go into your sync mode. This will automatically back everything up to the Dropbox is what I have it set for right now. But you can select different uh, cloud services that you want to back it up for and then you can restore it at a later date. We'll go into settings. Now in settings you have the separate list. This is so you can turn on and off your list and you can also reorder them however you want to do it. You can set a password if you want, so if you want this to be password protected. The sync setup, this gives you the separate sync methods, so you can choose what you want. Choose if you want to sync on the exit, the launch, or if you want to have an app badge. Also gives you a help menu if you have any trouble with this. You can back up to email. You can also manage your auto backup. So every time you exit out of this app, it'll back up if that's what you selected. You can select on or off for the pull down for any tips in case you need the tips. You can also go to nearby and you can select if you want alerts, badge, any timeout, your maximum distance. You can also select the app badge. As you see I have it selected for today with overdue. You can select any one of these that you want. You have the to do's badge. You also have the tap badge on or off, the nearby, nearby badge, timeout, and a sync badge. In task, you can select all the different settings in here. Focus filters, fade, arrange, classic outlook. You can show overdues, on or off. Today you can include stars, show later. You can even select anything for the done menus if you want. Under alerts, you can select how you want the alerts, the snooze, the alert sounds. Your look and feel gives you separate themes you can choose, font sizes, font styles. You have everything in here that you want to use to customize this app the way you want to do it. Under experience, the same thing. You have a lot of customizations here. If you have the text expander app, you can add that in there as well, your keyboards, your landscapes. You even can add birthdays and anniversaries. You can import them, set up the alarms. You can also export the task, choose what you want to export. And then of course you have your features in here. And this will give you a lot of this information in here about what the app is, uh, give you the how to use, you can write your review. And of course you have your about. This gives you information, tells you when this app was last updated, give you information on the developers as well. 
And then of course you have your advanced settings. You can check up your diagnostic reports, reset applications and optimizing to do's. Alright, so if we want to go in here and we want to add a task, let's go into today, you hit the add button. It's going to give you a section to add a title. We're going to put in a title in here and then if you can see in the middle it says tap here to edit details. You tap in here, it's going to give you the choice of doing an action. So you can set up an action if you want for this one. You can also add a note. You can also select what you want, task, checklist, or project. And then you can select what list you want it. Right now I have routines and masters and all that, so you can check whatever you want or select your own. You can select the start date if you wish. Under due date, you can put today, tomorrow, you can pick or choose what you want. You can set your time. Under alarms, it gives you two choices. You get a message and you get a sound alarm. And then you can choose which one you want to use. Locations, you can pick your current location or set up a location. You can add audio voice, pictures, and URLs. Once you do all that, you hit create, and you'll see that it shows up. When you're done with this one, you simply check it off, and it'll strike it away. If you want to delete it, tap on it, go down here to the bottom right where you get a little trash can, and delete. And it's gone. All right, so this was my review over To Do, which I say it's a very good, very productive uh, To Do app that helps you out with all kinds of necessary uh, tasks that you have to get done. Um, hope you like this tutorial, give you a little idea about how to use it, and um, if you want to give it a try, go ahead and check that link below in the description, and I'll take you right in there, and you can give this app a try. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe below, and I will catch you later. Thanks a lot.